welcome back folks and here we are um, we are making a character from the start building a character step by step by first making a head and then the body and then the legs so um, this is the second video of the series and I have already made a head and if you have not seen the first video let me just give you a brief review about it so just go to the layers panel inside and you can open up this head group we have five layers one for the hair the, um, this one you can see the eyes the mouth the face and the neck all right these are the five things that make up the head now next what we're going to do we're going to make the body of this goofy looking guy so what i'm going to do i'm going to zoom out all right and i'm going to make a new layer click for the new layer and vector and i'm going to name the layer as uh, body enter now um, actually there are two ways to make the body some people uh, make the body in a separate layer and the arms in separate layers like for the left arm and the right arm what I like to do is go to with the second way and the second way is to uh, make the body including the arms in the same layer both all the three things arm left arm right arm and the body in the same layer and the hands and the hand in the separate layer all right now how do you decide that whether you want to make uh, which things you need to make in a separate layer and which things you need to keep on the same layer well that's quite easy if you want to decide over it what you need to think on is uh, what things would you like to change in your character or in your animation later on while making the animation for example if I make this character with his hands wide open all right and later on in the animation what I want to make I want to make the person change his open hands to fists or to a pointing direction where he is pointing to some particular thing so in that case you are changing the hands right changing how the hand looks so you need to make those hands in separate layers if you want to change them if you want to change the way they look so uh, I don't need to change my um, arms right once the arms are fixed they're fixed there's nothing's gonna change except the uh, except after bone ringing it's gonna move around a bit but nothing's gonna change uh, by drawing all right so that's why I'm gonna make the body including the left and the right arm on the same layer and the um, the hands left hand and the right hand on a separate layer all right so I'm gonna select the add point to Anyways, so I'm gonna make the body. So um, let's start up. So I'm gonna make a simple body with his arms. I bring on the half sleeve T-shirt. Okay, and this is a simple T-shirt. You can play around, mess around with the whatever style you like. And just gonna do it quite fast and head to the main section. And we're like almost as well. We move point two, and I'm gonna press space to join those two points. And here we are. Seems a little bit, a little bit tilted, and uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep, yep, that's it. So I'm gonna select the select edge tool, and I'm gonna click on it. Press hold shift key, and select the whole shape until it turns with this um, check red. And I'm gonna select the color for the T-shirt. I'm gonna go to the default and what kind of t-shirt you like him to wear? Well, um, have a purple. Alright, so I'm gonna press space and here is it, a purple t-shirt. Alright, so I'm gonna use this select this move point tool and I'm gonna move the points so that um, give him a bit. Well, no. Um, just a second. Move point tool like this, like this. Mm -hmm. 
zoom in. Yeah, I should, I should probably should have zoomed in earlier so that you guys can see. I forgot about that. Anyways, this is what I'm doing. Just gonna narrow down this edge. I'm actually gonna widen up this edge. And uh, this shoulder should be a little bit more realistic. Mm, seems fine. Yep. Oops, control plus Z. Almost done. Uh, uh, this seems fine. Mm -hmm. Fine enough. So uh, we're gonna extend these his arms now. I'm gonna click and make his arms something like this. And uh, and press space to join two points. And here it is. I'm gonna move the points a little bit. Just to make them look a bit more better. Oops, control plus Z. Uh, this mouse clicking is kind of disturbing me. No, can't help. I have just one mouse. And I'm gonna narrow down these edges. Yeah, like this. Okay. Alright, this seems fine. Now I'm gonna color it with the skin color press space uh, this one or this one yeah, right. press space here it is I'm gonna simply copy it go to the edit menu make sure you have selected the shape that you want to copy and then go to the edit menu I'm gonna click copy then I'm gonna click paste and then I'm gonna flip it vertically and I'm gonna simply gonna drag it to the other place well, um, here it is. Press enter to deselect the points, and here you are. Um, a little bit into this side, and yeah, looking great. Okay, so I'm just gonna fix this thing a little bit. Yeah, fine. So here you are, and uh, one more thing, I'm gonna, you know, uh, bring back these points a little bit. Hmm. Oops, and where the heck is the point? Okay, I'm gonna add another point. Just to control the I don't need to add another so I need to move to um yeah, here is. Well, fine now. So um alright, we made the arms. Now what we need to, we need to make the uh, hands, right? So I'm gonna make a separate layer for the hands. Click the vector, and I'm gonna make the left hand first. So I'm gonna L hand, left hand, and his left hand would be this one. So I'm going to make the hand. Right? I'm gonna make an open hand. So something like this. Control plus Z, yeah. And I'm just gonna do it by fast, alright. This mouse is a bit shaky one. Not letting me go to the place I want. Okay, one, two, three, four. More finger. Let's make small and I'm gonna use the move tool just to fix these uh, points. Control C is there. Alright, this should be the thumb. Mm -hmm. Yep, no, that's quite a bit thumb looking. And I'm just gonna narrow down these points. Just like that. Great. 
Vamos a tomar un tema de ver. And just a little bit more fixing, moving the points around, giving it the best shape. I think I should delete this point, I don't need it. Yeah. And um, seems to be done. This seems to be a little bit looking quite hard. Enter. Let's color that and click on it. Yep, selected, press space, and here you are. I'm gonna use the hide edge. I'm gonna hide this one. Don't need it. And I'm gonna narrow down the border. Mm -hmm. Now the move tool. Yep. Just uh, I'm gonna bring that thumb down a little bit. Don't need it to be like that. The center. And uh, oops. And 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 and. Zoom in a bit. Mm. All right, seems to be fine. This pinky seems to be a bit trained, but that's all right. We're not going to waste our time on these small things. You can fix it yourself. So this is the left hand. Now we need to make the right hand. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this left hand. We need to make a separate layer for the right hand, and that needs to be the same as the left one. Alright, so simply we can duplicate the layer. Click on this duplicate layer button with you see, you see with plus sign. Click on it, and here we are a new layer, L hand 2. Rename it to R hand. Here you are, and with the R hand selected, I'm going to switch it around. Now, uh, where, where, where's the button? Where's the button? Um, oh, wait a sec. Uh, now, to switch it, we're gonna simply go to the edit menu or the draw menu, right? Or maybe wait a sec, which menu was it? Oh, wait a sec, wait a sec. Ah, oh, you can simply select the this, you know, each all these points and vertically flip. Here it is. Now click and drag and bring it to the place where you want it to be. Seems a little bit odd. Simply rotate it. Um, here's rotation and zoom in. Move tool. Yep. All right. Seems quite fine. So I'm gonna add a little bit, few more things, just to make it a bit more realistic. What that I like to do is uh, we add these two lines. That gives it an impression of an open fist. Click on it, press space, click on it, oops, click on it, press space, narrow down the edges. It's quite too much broad, we don't need this broadness. And great. Similarly, I'm going to do it for the other, other hand. Right hand, zoom in. Mm -hmm. And uh, a bit like this. I'm gonna paint it and narrow the edges. Huh. Here it is. So, here is it. With the body done and what we can do is well we can just let it be like this or we can make it in a separate um, separate one if you want to well i don't think there's any need just let it be like that all right now one thing you need to make sure the head always lies um above right so i have to shift it above okay so here it is 
sky. Well, if you ever feel that this neck shouldn't be the way that it is looking right now, you want the neck to be behind the body, you can even do that by simply bringing the neck and dragging it behind it. I mean, you can simply move this neck outside the head like this. Right, right now it's outside the head group, close the head group and now we can bring this neck behind the body, right? simple as that. Okay, so that's, a, that's it for this video and the next video we're going to make the legs and then finally we're going to rake it with the bones and finally we can use our character. See you in the next one.